How are we doing today? I'm just uh, looking at my phone, figuring out my route, my route, route, how I'm going to get the Flagstaff. I'm heading to Flagstaff this weekend because I want to get some pictures of the fall colors. And I'm a little, I'm a little shaky on if they're going to be there or not. We had some, uh, they had some really high winds during the week. So hopefully some leaves are still on the trees. I'll see when I get there, but. I'll, I'll find a picture somehow. I stopped at the store and got my snacks for the trip. Usually I usually I get a big bag of gummy bears or licorice or chocolate of some kind, but um, I guess I'm turning over a new leaf. And I got uh, a big bunch of grapes. And this is going to be my snack food for the trip taking some advice from somebody that once told me Alan you better eat better you're gonna die so uh, you know I was thinking about that too. I was, she was the only person that could get me to eat Brussels sprouts but anyways I'm going to uh, I'm going to snack on these grapes and head to flight step and see if we can get some pictures I stopped here at the car wash I wanted to wash the windshield on the car before I went, but the card reader up by the car wash wouldn't take my money. <laughs> so yeah, I'm running out of time. It's already getting late in the afternoon and I got a three hour road trip ahead of me. So looks like I'm going with a dirty windshield. All right, let's get going. I could go out in the dark, I see you calling my name I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same Every word that you are throwing right into my back Doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my track Let me go You know, <laughs> one thing about traveling alone There's nobody to blame the smells on that are emanating from this car Can't blame it on the dog, can't blame it on the other passengers It's just you I think I may have overdone it on the grapes. This could prove to be a little dangerous later. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, baby, let me go. Well, I made it. I made it up to Flagstaff. Got checked into my room here. In the. Hotel Hell in Flagstaff. I never have I never have good luck with with hotel rooms. There's always some freaky shit that goes on. <laughs> this one is no exception. There's a blood stain on the drapes right there, it looks like. I haven't looked in the bed yet. I don't even know if I want to do that. I think I'm just gonna shut the lights off and crawl in because <laughs> I wanna be able to sleep tonight. Um, three hour trip up here. I went and got a, uh, went and got dinner and now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to go tomorrow. Um, I've heard tell about this inner basin trail and I've seen pictures of it and I want to see if I can find it. I want to, I want to see that. So it's here someplace. I asked the guy at the front desk and, uh, if, if he knew where the inner basin trail was, and he basically looked at me like I was not speaking English. So, uh, I'll find it. I'll do a little research tonight and I'll find it. And we'll get out there tomorrow and see what we can find and get some pictures. But right, right now, I'm going to shut the lights off and hope nothing bites me tonight. Talk to you tomorrow. That's a big bed and a lot of pillows. They can hide a lot of critters in there. Yeah.
Well, I found the Inner Basin Trail this morning. And unfortunately, so did half of the rest of the country. <laughs> there is a ton of people out here. I stopped on the trail and tried to get some shots, but the traffic is so is so heavy, I just packed up my camera and moved on. So I'm just taking a little break here and figuring out what I'm going to do. I think I just got to be a little more patient and let the crowd thin out and just pick my shots and enjoy the day and get what I get. I've only got a few hours here and then I got to get back. It's three hours back home. So I'm going to get some pictures today. That That's for sure. Not a big fan of crowds. All right, I found a shot here. Take a look at the the backlight on those leaves right there. I like the way this is just in this little valley right here. If you look on my screen, that's my shot right there. We're shooting at this at F11. 140th of a second. Just wait for the breeze to stop so you can get the No blur in the, in the leaves, the wind are blowing the leaves around. That one's coming home with us. I had to make that, I had to make that last shot pretty quick actually because of all the foot traffic that's on the trail. I set up that shot and while I was trying to get the picture taken and do that little bit of video, three people stopped, stepped in front of my camera to take a picture of the same shot I was taking. Just a little tip for you, would you, I mean, this, this is for everybody. This is public land and it's beautiful and I, I encourage everybody to come out and see it, but you got to be a little courteous of other people, you know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Some people just live in their own little world and don't really care about anybody else they run into. So what I did is I was walking up the trail after I left that spot. And I found, I looked through the woods and I could see a bunch of color through the woods. A bunch of leaves that were orange and yellow and so I walk through the woods about 50 yards off the trail and I come into this little, this little clearing here and I got it all to myself. So I'm going to spend the next, I don't know, half an hour or so right here and try to get some shots in here. I don't think I have to go any further than this right here. Look at this. This is really cool. I like this one right here. I like that tree right there. Unfortunately, there's a big dead one in front of it, but that's just the way nature is. I like these over here too. Oh, look at that shot right there. Hang on a second. Oops, sorry for. Check out the clouds above that. All right, I got my first one set up over here. What I've done is I've taken my my tripod and I put it at low to the ground and I'm shooting I'm shooting up at those tall trees right there right there I I'm shooting a lot of vertical shots today because these trees are so darn tall but but I I've, I've got the weeds out of the way here I got this framed up. I don't really know if I like this composition or not, but it's kind of framed within a frame. There's a green pine tree on this side and a green pine tree on that side and a dead tree has fallen. And that's kind of got a border on the bottom. I don't know, I'm gonna take it and see what happens. 
when I get that back into my computer, it may look better than it does on this on my camera, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to spend a little time here and take some pictures in this little cove in the woods. Okay, I've got my I've got my next shot set up here. I had to change lenses. I had a uh, my 17 to 55 on there on my camera, but it just wasn't wide enough to get in this tight spot to get what I wanted. These trees are so big. So I changed my 11 to, what is it, 11 to 16, 11 to 16 millimeter, and that is really wide. Something's crashing through the woods here. <laughs> Anyways. To see an elk come through here, that would be pretty cool. Anyways, here, here's the shot I got right here. I found these. Uh, I found these in this little group of aspens right here. There's one right in the center that I want to be the focus of my shot. But when I sit, when I set my camera up, when I set my camera up. I just plunked the tripod down here and turned the camera on and holy cow, it was framed almost perfectly. This, if you notice, this is the tree that's kind of in the center there, right there. And I like the way that these, like this, this tree over here, oops, that tree right there, that tree right there. And this tree, hang on a second. This tree, this tree over here. Oh, if I could figure out how to work my fingers. All right, this tree right here. Those, those are, those are framing my shot. It's like they're just creeping out of the, the frame. I really like that. So let's take this shot. Let's go back to uh, F11. At an 80th of a second is the proper exposure for this. Let's take this. Ah, I really like this wide lens. Now there are some dead, some dead poles in there. Some trees have died. I don't know if I'm going to leave that or not because it's kind of distracting in the blue sky. I may, I may just remove them in Photoshop. We'll see. I really, I really like that shot. It's like the the trees are just coming out of the out of the shot like that. That they're just reaching for the sky. That's really cool looking. All right, I'm gonna keep looking around here. It's always a good idea to take shots from different perspectives. You notice that my camera is my camera is only about two feet off the ground. And I've got this real wide lens pointing up like that. It's a perspective that a lot of people don't see because most people will take their pictures standing up at five feet, six feet or whatever at eye level. And you can just get a, 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 better, a better perspective and a more interesting shot if you just try different angles. I like shooting tall stuff from low because it makes them look huge and, you know, reaching for the sky it's just it's just telling a little bit of a better story like that okay i'm gonna keep taking some pictures here
Okay, well, I caught a lot of pictures here of this little, this little clearing in the woods. The trip started out where I was a little bit bummed, but it turned out pretty good. I got some good pictures. I gotta head home now though. It's, it's starting to get late, so. Get out and take some pictures of the fall colors. It only happens once a year. You don't get them this year, you gotta wait all the way till next year to get them again. And I've missed it many years in a row. So I'm glad that I came. I'll be back up here again. There's a lot to explore in a Flagstaff area. It is beautiful up here. I'd like to come up in the winter if I could stand the temperatures. <laughs> we'll see. All right, get out there and take some pictures. And remember, when you're out here, be a little courteous of other people. You're not the only person in the world. See you guys next time. Thanks for coming along. You know what? You know what else uses this little vet, this little clearing? Is the deer. They have left little presents all over the ground. And I'm gonna track it in my boots back to my car. That'll be wonderful. Been stepping in milk duds all afternoon. Yeesh. <laughs>